And welcome back to Hannity. One of the president's most vocal supporters during the 2012 campaign has now landed himself in a lot of hot water. Singer, songwriter, co-host of the hit show The Voice, Adam Levine declared that he hates America on live television last night. Now, the Maroon 5 frontman, liberal loudmouth, muttered the comment under his breath, but it was picked up on a microphone for millions to hear while waiting to see which contestants were leaving the show. Let's watch this. Only one more artist will join the others for our top six live show. I hate this country. Now, needless to say, the country did not appreciate his tasteless remark. Levine issued a statement earlier today, which reads in part, quote, I obviously love my country very much, and my comments last night were made purely out of frustration. Last night's elimination of Judith and Sarah was confusing and downright emotional for me, and my comments were made based on my personal dissatisfaction with the results. That still doesn't make the comments okay. Well, here with reaction, Fox News contributor Tamara Holder, and from Next Generation TV, Michelle Fields. Guys, good to see you. Nice to see you You're too. gonna defend it, right? I can be looking at you. You're gonna defend saying I hate America. Well, it sure takes one to know one, Sean. I mean, really, if anybody's uh, hates America, I think it's a lot of conservatives. They're they're mad at. Give me an example. Well, they're, <laughs> they can't what, talk what conservative about, hates they America. They can't talk about the successes of the job market, uh, job stock market. market, housing, all of these things are up. But instead, you want to talk about an entainer. He's not a politician who said something under Tamara, his breath, Tamara. who was but disappointed this is something that people were really upset about. No, the, he, this is what the conservatives are upset about because he should be deported. That's what people are saying. He should be. I don't he think should, anyone he hates America. for him to be de deported. Well, do you Come really? On. Well, if you want to have a serious conversation, do you really think that he hates this country? I think it's a very unusual comment to make when you're frustrated. When I'm frustrated, I don't say I hate this country. I would say I hate my job or I hate something. Uh, I hate the people who voted for uh, the the contestants. I but wouldn't say I hate the, the country. You were answering my question. Do you think that he hates this country? I mean, I don't know. I don't know him, but well, I've never personally I mean, said he, that he gets paid by making records and performing and doing all of these things for I Americans think it's and a really, I think it was a really foolish remark. I think that there are tons of mothers and fathers who've lost their lives, sons and daughters fighting for this country. I think he ought to be proud of the country. I don't think he should have said, I hate this country, especially because of the results of a reality I show. I love Give how you, break. okay, but what does, why do conservatives, Sean, always bring up Yes, uh, the war, you know, people have died. Of course, uh, we're, we're in a war every day. Because let people me, are me, fighting but for your thing, rights. What about the First Amendment? People died because of the First Amendment. I understand. No one's taking away his rights. No one's taking away his rights. Your, your, your um, conservative friends didn't like Eminem. They wanted him completely banned Tamara, from selling records because Tamara, he doesn't like let me, Liz let, let me educate and, you. And you President can, Trump. I will challenge you, and I have $100 in my pocket if you can name one conservative. That, that hates America because they have disagreements with Obama. That's what you said earlier. Name one. I don't think it's a hatred for this country. I think that it's a hatred for But you said that progress. they hate it. Hang on, I got a $100 bill right here. Freshly minted, well, then, Ben Franklin for you. Why are, $100. why are we talking about a segment no, of a guy you who said, said because you said well, that. You know what really bothers Because that's all you talk about is, is the well, hatred no, no. It's a of, uh, of this administration. I don't you hate know, anybody. You talk Anger. about outrage. You talk about outrage. And you typically hear this liberal saying, oh, conservatives are always outraged about everything. They don't know how to take a joke. Look, we know how to take a joke. It's not our really? problem. Really? Which one? It's not our problem. Name it's a not, joke that you found not, was funny. It's not our fault if you don't know how to deliver it. But what I think, whoever, the, the people oh, like who really are. Called the Sarah people, Palin a MILF? The people who are that really was, outraged are the liberals. You think that's appropriate? You, to call say, a, you think it's appropriate to call a mother that name? I Cameron think it's likes to be, be called that, right? Well, actually, you, you said that on Hannity's wait, show one time. All, we were together. You enjoy being called that. Okay, you first of all, flattering. I'm not a mother. But Second of all, you, you don't have flattering. to personally attack me for what I've I'm said. Attacking you, you did say that. You, you in said. front of millions of people, of course. And guess what? It's been talked about on other shows and other programs. You, 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 would want, you, you don't find that offensive to say not, that? No, I don't. I'd rather be a MILF than a fat loser woman walking I'd down the be street respected. in her... Okay, why can't you be both? Why can't you be good looking? When someone says that you are a MILF, that's not a very respectful way to address a person. Well, I, I, I personally don't think so. Maybe you do, but I don't think that's a respectful. Well, guess way what? To be we're, we're, we can have a difference of opinions, and that's what makes America great. And All that's right. something that uh, we got to go. Why can't we agree on? By Sean? the way, I did go to the bank. That's why I was showing off my hundred dollars. But I'll keep it because <laughs> you didn't get it. I'll I had to go to the now. bank tonight. Uh, all right. Good to see you both. Thank you. Appreciate it. We'll